Hello my darlings, I hope you're doing fantastic during the first month of the new year. I must say I'm not really in the vibe, I don't really feel like oh it's a new year blah blah blah. I'm just rolling with it, you know what I mean? I don't know. But uh, today I am finally doing a video that I wanted to do for so long. However, I really, really prepared myself for it and it took a while because I needed to acquire a few new fragrances to show you the whole spread of tuberose. Tuberose, 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 my darlings. Um, I never thought I'd be such a massive fan of tuberose but here I am and I'm gonna share with you the ones that are the most wearable my absolute favorites the tuberose that you should not really be afraid of uh, from super nice and fresh and green to tropical or bubblegummy I got you covered uh, there are some darker ones as well so let's go ahead and jump right in but before we do do not forget to subscribe of course and follow me on Instagram. Alright guys, so I did want to mention a few fragrances that I do not have with me such as Frank Boclet Cocaine but then I thought what is really your favorite tuberose that you love wearing and these are the ones so these are the ones that I have with me and yeah I'm just gonna share them with you. So let's start with I think one of the easiest and that is Kayali Deja Vu White Flower 57 and that is a beautiful combination of tuberose, nectarine, jasmine, um, there's some vanilla in here, a little bit of patchouli but in general this is such a beautiful fragrance. I personally absolutely love it. This is a very very wearable white floral with quite a heavy dose of tuberose but it's so nicely blended that you cannot really distinguish each and every single note which is actually good in my opinion. I really really like it. So if you want something super easy, super wearable but at the same time is beautiful and sexy and very sophisticated, uh, it's sweet then go for Kayali. I really really like it. Uh, actually let me spray it right, right now because why not? I love this fragrance. I really really do. Um, the longevity is moderate I would say. It's around five to six hours with moderate projection. Um, Kayali fragrances except from one which is invite only and maybe the pink pepper one in the pink bottle uh, do not have very prominent projection. They do last some better, some worse, but in general they do not project that well. Um, this one I would say is moderate, so if you want something that will last you a good couple of hours, your work day, it's gonna be perfect. To me it's a very sexy one as well. I really really like it. So that is Kayali. The next one I want to share with you is a deep, sexy, loud fragrance that I personally absolutely adore and I finally have the full bottle and that is Scandal by Night and this is your super gloopy sweet honey tuberose with some cherry, with a little bit of patchouli as well but this is the naughty and sweeter sister of the original I love both but this one really packs a punch so I think if you're looking something to go out for clubbing for sexy date nights I think this is the one to go if you love the DNA of it I don't think you can go wrong with it I personally adore this and even my mother who's not the biggest fan of such scent profile she does appreciate Scandal the original and the by night so I think it might be quite a safe blind buy just mind you you have to love sweet because this is sticky sweet but in general it's fabulous super sexy super decadent everyone will smell you very good lasting power and projection as well I find that most Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrances have fantastic lasting power and it has been like that for years. So this has my massive stamp of approval if you want a tuberose that is slightly more in the background but it still gives that massive sweetness of a floral fantastic one. But this is for adventurous girls, alright? 
so that is done um, next let's go with something also super duper sweet uh, but this tuberose is definitely playing the first strings and it is that bubblegum super sweet almost juvenile tuberose and that is velvet vanilla by Mancera and I really love this fragrance if you love those bubble gummy notes, I think you will love this fragrance and I must say the projection and the longevity of it is so good. You cannot beat it, especially when it comes to the price of Mancera. All Montal fragrances, they have very good price for what they are because most of them are absolute beasts. So I highly, highly recommend it. So that is Velvet Vanilla. Of course, there is vanilla to it, as the name suggests. Um, it's said to be quite a complex fragrance. There are many notes. I think there's some Angelica. It is slightly green, but most of all, you get that beautiful, sweet bubblegum. I love it. I really love it. I think it's great for summer and winter. Uh, just do not overspray too much in summertime, all right? So that is Velvet Vanilla. And that's my oldie but a goodie, by the way. All right, now I have a few that are quite similar and I think you should go with the one that is best for your budget because they are quite similar. Um, they do have similar performance and I love them all equally. So first I wanna share with you Mugla and that is Alien Fusion. As you can see, I went through it quite a lot and this is a beautiful solar of a tubero. So there's vanilla, uh, there is that alien DNA here here still uh, but you mainly get a lot of nice creamy solar as I said like a sunny beachy of a vibe of a tuberose so that is a very very nice especially for summer the longevity I would say is around seven hours I do really smell it on my clothes and on my hair so that's great because these are the places that I always always pay attention if the fragrance lasts you know, if it lasts on your clothes and you spray so much on your clothes, if you do spray on your clothes, but I do, um, and it lasts for a long, long time, I do really not worry how it lasts on the skin because, you know, I'm still going to be smelled um, if, if basically all my clothes are sprayed all over, right? Uh, and this one does not last so amazingly on the skin, but it does last on clothes, so I'm happy about that. You get, you know, still that nice vanilla. As I said, it's still in that alien realm. So if you do not look like alien, you'll probably not like this. But in general, it's a very nice, sunny, yet quite dense of a fragrance. There are some spices to it, but I don't really get them. There's maybe slight bit of cinnamon in the beginning but really not that much i actually did hope this would be more prominent on, on those nice spices but it's really not but the tuberose wise it's very very nice so that is alien fusion next one that is very similar however to me it is definitely more herbaceous especially in the beginning and that is Rouge Malakith by Armani and many people do actually compare these two fragrances this one um, of course is way more pricey it is still absolutely beautiful I would say is less sweet than Alien Fusion you do not get any slight bit of that nice vanilla that you have in Alien and it's definitely less solar, if you know what I mean. Uh, when I say solar, I mean like beachy, quite tropical feeling to it, you know? This one is not that. Uh, this one, as I said, has clary sage, so it's herbaceous. Um, I think that um, this tuberose is a little bit greener and at the same time there's a lot of amber to it so it's not fresh at all of a fragrance but i do like it it's definitely decadent it's super sexy it's seductive there is some slight creaminess to it but i would say um alien fusion is actually more creamy beachy this one is more on that hefty tuberose so i hope i make sense I love them both. It is worth having both, but if you do not have both, I think maybe go for Alien first and see how you like it. Just bear in mind, 
Rouge Malachite is quite herbaceous. There is amber, of course. It gets sweeter as it dries down, you know? The, the beginning of the fragrance is not really the end of it. Whereas in Alien Fusion, you kind of get the same vibe from start to the finish. So, yes, each to their own, guys. I like them both. Uh, however, I have something else that I like the most out of them. There's a third one that I'm going to show you. So, out of them three, which is from Juliana and by the way no this is not sponsored this is just my actual taste and this is what I like the most out of them three and this is bad bitch so this one is supposedly inspired by Rouge Malakite so the first one I talked about however I definitely do get way more tropical vibes of it it's way sweeter I get more ylang ylang I absolutely love this one. Out of the three, I think this one is my favorite, especially for its longevity. So comparing the prices of all three fragrances, this one has the best price and the best longevity. So I think you kind of get the best out of them all. Uh, but you do have to like quite a bit of Ylang Ylang because Ylang Ylang is in Rouge Malakite, but I don't think it's that prominent as it is in Juliana's perfume. So if you prefer something slightly more tropical, even sweeter, I think you would prefer Bad Bitch just like me. So yes, guys, these three are all great. They're very similar to each other. As I said, um, Fusion is the most solar, like beachy vibe to me and vanilla. Rouge Malakite is the most herbaceous and amber based and Bad Bitch is the sweetest and it's basically the most prominent on Ylang Ylang out of them three. So love them but you have to choose for yourself which one you like the most i would say juliana is the nicest and especially for the price so yeah all right speaking of tropical fragrances i really want to show you this one i recently got it i've been eyeing it for so long now and that is boucheron tubereuse de madra and this is so good. Um, this is definitely the most tropical of a tuberose that I have. And it's so nice. It's greener. Um, it is still very sweet. So good. This one is so good. Very contemporary of a tuberose. Nothing dusty here. So, so beautiful. You really have to try it. It has so many beautiful tropical notes to it. So if you like that tropical touch in the fragrance, you know, just fun and beautiful. But don't get me wrong, it's super sophisticated still. I think Tuberos de Madra is so, so good to go with, especially that you get so much of a fragrance. And I think 50 ml of Rouge Malakite is the same price as Boucheron and you get 125 ml. So count it in your head and I'm sure you know what to get. This one is beautiful. I think this is very unique. I think this one everybody's gonna just ask you what is this fragrance you're smelling so so nice so so nice it has very nice longevity it has good projection lasts so well on clothes and the bottle is quite exquisite i must say so probably this one is my favorite boucheron tubereuse de madras definitely the most tropical as i said okay next tuberose that i absolutely love definitely one of my favorites just love 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 uh, and I still do not have the bottle, but I'm gonna talk about it anyway because I don't know when that bottle happens, all right? Uh, this is from BDK and that is called Tubereuse Imperial. And this one is so beautiful, guys. It's just insane how gorgeous this one is. Oh. They do have similar vibe, let's be honest. Most of them do have similar vibe, but this one is another absolutely beautiful tuberose it's very creamy like super duper creamy sweet not too much greenness but there is like slight slight touch of greenness there you know 
Ah, oh, I just love it. This one is super rich, decadent, great longevity of this BDK fragrance. Not all BDK fragrances last super well. However, on me, most of them are very decent. This one is no exception. This one lasts on me around seven to eight hours. And it's just so rich and creamy and suede like, you know, it's like milky suede sweet tuberose that is in here. Non dusty as well. Very, very wearable one. So you, if you have a few more bucks to splurge, I would definitely go for the BDK version. There is even more expensive version that we have here, which is actually the most similar to BDK. And that is Fragrance de Bois Siberian Rose. And this is hands down my favorite tube rose, I must say. It has suede to it, but it's done in such a beautiful way, guys. It has some fruits, it has some creamy notes and the rose as well. But in general, Today I can spray everything on myself because, you know, they all mesh together so well because they're all tuberous based, so I don't care. Oh. You know, Fragrance de Bois really masters this perfume. And this one is one of the most long lasting fragrances from the brand that I have discovered, tried, tested. This one is definitely the biggest beast, one of the biggest beasts. So I think if you do want Siberian Rose or anything from Fragrance de Bois, because they do have a very hefty price tag, I think this one is actually really worth it. So, so beautiful. This one is actually worth the splurge, I must say, because it lasts, it projects, and everyone loves it. Everyone that I just give this perfume to sniff, they love it. They really, really love it. Even if they're not very keen on perfumes in general, or if they don't really like tuberose, everyone who tried it loves it. So, you know, this is a massive thumbs up for me. Perfect fragrance, I must say. Perfect fragrance. Beautiful, beautiful tuberose. I don't want to ramble too much about it, but it's really good. So that is Siberian Rose from Fragrance de Bois. Um, next fragrance, let's see what I have here. Oh, I have another super decadent one and I did actually get it from my partner. And this is another like so luxurious of a tuberose and that is Vidian Black 5. This is tuberose and caramel mainly. It's slightly spicy. But it's in general, this is dark and rich, like super duper rich. It is sweet. There is tuberose, of course, and it definitely does play main strings. But to me, this fragrance just screams money. It is so rich, so decadent. Like, guys, you have to smell this one to know what I mean. I don't think I have that expensive smelling fragrance in my collection that is like up to this point, you know, like Vidian, amazing, amazing. So if you have maybe some formal occasions to go to, if you are wondering what to wear on your wedding day, I think if you like deeper fragrances, you're gonna love this. It's just beautiful actually. I am thinking that maybe on my wedding day, if it ever happens, I might wear something like Siberian Rose or Vidian 5, or maybe I'll wear Siberian Rose during the day and then top it up with Vidian. That's how I see it in my case. So yes, that is beautiful, beautiful pair of super expensive fragrances, but trust me, these two are actually worth it. Uh, I didn't want to include too many expensive fragrances because, you know, it's sometimes it's really not worth it, especially that we have so many beautiful tuberose fragrances on the market these days. So let me move along and I, there's literally cars standing, I think right at my driveway and they're playing some ratchet music. I hope you cannot hear it. Anyways, 
let's move on uh, this one I would say is in the middle price range so to speak but it is still designer and that is my way by Armani I actually have it on right here and this is another type of that bubblegum tuberose so another bubblegum that we have is Mancera this one my way is also bubblegummy however I would say is way less dense than Mancera is fresher it's more zesty it has a beautiful bergamot note that leans through the whole fragrance so it's perfect to wear every day it's good for summer good for spring winter any occasion i think because it is sophisticated but it's also quite cheerful thanks to that bergamot you know you get that nice refreshing zest and it's still sweet so you know if you like sweet you will really like it um, this is definitely a floral fragrance but it does have some woods and vanilla in the dry down which I always appreciate. Um, there is of course the intense version of this fragrance but I would say honestly stick to the original. To me the intense it is nice but it's ultra sweet, ultra sweet and ultra dense. I think you will be perfect with just the Eau de Parfum because it does last very, very well. So you do not have to worry about the longevity. And by the way, guys, I need to say that these days, if something is called intense or extra, it doesn't really mean anymore um, that it's more long lasting or projects better. Sometimes it's, it does, but in, in many cases, the original Eau de Parfum can be actually way more long lasting than its intense version so just so you know guys if you are wondering it's not always the case that the intense is more potent because it's not all right uh what do we have here i have a couple of more fragrances so let me start with great cheapies uh this is zara sublime apoc and this one to me is actually a mix of Armani My Way and another fragrance that I'm gonna speak about in a second. This one is very nice, it's cheerful, it has some maturity to it because it of course is composed of white florals but I do really like it. If you don't want to splurge on My Way by Armani I think you would absolutely love it. Also there's another fragrance as I said that it is similar to and that is another beautiful tuberose of mine. Givenchy L'Antardi. Uh, Givenchy L'Antardi, I actually held off buying this for so, so long, but I finally got it. Uh, this one is beautiful because it's a fruity tuberose. It's mixed with beautiful note of pear that I always appreciate some pear. Um, so best of the, both worlds, if you want to mix between Givenchy L'Antardi and Armani, I think you should go with Zara. Uh, but if you want more of those fruity accords, I think Lanta D would be your favorite. I think it is actually my favorite. Yeah, super sweet, but it's like, yes, it is tuberosey, but it's also like fruity sweet, you know? Which I actually prefer, because My Way by Armani is like bergamot and tuberose sweet, which makes it almost only florals that are sweet in this fragrance, if you know what I mean. This, with Lanta D, the sweetness comes from not only the tuberose, but also the fruity echoes. So that is perfect for me. And this scent, I must say, it lingers and lingers and lingers throughout the day. Super duper long lasting one, which this channel is all for, honestly. If you know me, you know I love long lasting fragrances and I always recommend one if I find one. So with Lanta D, this one is, as I said, fruity, but it's also very classy. It's um, not too zesty, not as zesty as Armani My Way. It's a little bit more dense. It's so nice, so, so nice. And I'm so happy I finally have it because now that I love tuberose so much and I am definitely on a tuberose hype, this has to be in my collection. So if you love tuberos, but also you love sw sweet fruity nose like pear, I think you're gonna love this because this is so long lasting. Some people say it smells like an old lady. To me, absolutely not. This is more of a youthful tuberos. Yes, it is still very classy and sophisticated. 
So if you compare it to something like Aquilina Pink Sugar, then yeah, probably it does smell like a grandma to you. But if you, you know, just sniff it as a standalone fragrance, it's just beautiful. It's great for a young girl and also an old lady, if I can say that. Amazing one, amazing one. It's perfect for women at any age, for any occasion. It's gonna shine in spring and summer and winter. So great all-rounder. Um, yeah, that's that, guys. All right, next one from Givenchy. Of course, we have the intense version of Lanta D. Uh, ah, this one I love because this one is dark, is sexy, it's intense. It has a beautiful sesame note that I just adore. I adore the note of sesame in fragrances. Also, beautiful leathered like vanilla. So it kind of reminds me, kind of reminds me of Vidian 5. They have definitely the same vibe to them, you know? They, there is that vanilla sweetness from uh, the intense version of Lanta D and here we have a lot of caramel in Vidian. So they definitely go in the same direction. The tuberose is, in my opinion, done quite similar in both of them. So if you don't want to splurge on Vidian, I think you will be very, very happy with Lanta D. But at the same time, if you maybe have the Lanta D Intense and you're thinking of Vidian, I think you will absolutely love it. So yes, these fragrances definitely are in the same realm. I'm not saying they're dupes, they're not guys. They're not that similar, but they do have a similar vibe. With Givenchy, you have great performance, great lasting power, so you really cannot go wrong with this. Uh, when it comes to me, I love wearing the original Lanta D during the day and then just top it up with the Intense for the night time. So that's usually what I do with these because I'm still playing very heavily with them because they're new and you know, I'm just very excited about them. So yes, these two are amazing. If you want a good tuberose that is either very sexy and dark or very nice and youthful and projects like a beast, you're gonna be happy with both of them. So that is Lanta D. And last but not least, guys, I have Amouage Love Tuberose. And this one is super sophisticated. Very beautiful, clean fragrance. Ultra long lasting. And you really can smell yourself when you wear it. Again, I can just spritz myself because I'm just gonna be tuberose all over. Ooh. This one has quite a green tuberose mixed with whipped cream and vanilla and a lot of jasmine. To me, jasmine and tuberose are definitely fighting for attention in this fragrance. I think there is quite the same dose of both florals, um, but you get it all mixed with beautiful vanilla and whipped cream, so it gives you that comforting feeling to the fragrance and also very feminine sweetness. Absolutely fantastic when it comes to lasting power, as I said before. Um, if you want to have a beautiful gift for yourself or if you want to gift something to someone special or for a wedding fragrance, I think this one is so good because it's so classy, so sophisticated and everyone will be absolutely in love with it when they smell it on you. All right, my darlings, and that is it when it comes to my favorite tuberose fragrances. I think these are one of the best ones on the market. Of course, there is so much more when it comes to tuberose. Let's not forget the fragrance that pretty much started a tuberose hype a couple of years ago in the designer world, which was Hermes Twilly. This was one of the first more modern and contemporary tuberose. It's very spicy, um, slightly Middle Eastern leaning, you know, a little bit. But in general, it's a very contemporary youthful tuberose. I do not have the bottle of it, but yeah, that, that's actually one of the few that started the whole hype a couple of years back. So I just had to mention it because I really love history. So that is it, my lovelies. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and see you in my next one. Bye.